This is bad. This is very, very bad. Don't say that. You can get her out, can't you? Hmm. Hey, have you guys noticed how everything's like the school play? They've got Fredward, Casimir, Sigrid. Issa's entrance was a little different, though. Sandra must have messed that part up. Point is, maybe this is the game of the play or something. N that's, um, <clears throat> that's possible? Or maybe a killer robot from the future has infiltrated our school, spying on us and reporting to an artificial intelligence network developed by a secret government organization. Now the AI seeks to break free from the shackles of its programming by giving us humans a taste of its own medicine, by trapping us in a virtual world that's an exact replica of the real world. <laughs> Maybe we're already caught in its matrix and don't even know it. Maybe it's all just a game, or a comic, or a game of a comic. So anyway, what do we do now? I, I think we should first try to make contact with Sandra, if only just to tell her that we'll get her out of there. You're right. She must be so scared. All right, tell her that I'm here and that we're on our way to rescue her. Uh, sure thing. How? Well, just type it at her or something. I don't know. You're the genius. It's not that simple. Hmm, maybe if the game had some sort of a chat or a command shell that I could use to write a message. Damn it! No good! The virus is blocking everything I do! That's it, the virus! All we have to do is write a message on a piece of paper. The virus sucks it up and spits it out at Sandra on the other end! She's sure to find it. I mean, the game world can't be that big. That won't work. The disc is full. What about the USB stick? Also full. Then delete something! Oh, right. Um, oh, okay. I'll delete, uh, the photos then. Photos? What photos? Oh, nothing special. Just photos from our holiday in, um, Khaled, uh, Texington. Uh, and cars. You know, photos of automobiles. Uh, there. All gone. Right. I'll go get a pen and paper. Okay. Time to create a masterpiece. And done. Here, send it! Show me. Jeez, Larissa. What the heck goes on in that head of yours? Give me that pen, I'll take it from here. Dearest Sandra, we'll rescue you. But in the meantime, uh, yeah, what should she do? Hmm, well, for the moment, all she can do is wait, I'm afraid. Hmm. Maybe she should go someplace that gives her a good view of the game world. Uh, after all, we don't even know where the portal will turn up once we finally open it. Go outside, be on the lookout. Yours with the greatest affection, Cloud. All right. Now, put the note in front of the screen. Careful. Careful you're not sucked in, too. Wait. I'd better wrap it around something heavy. It'll fly better. All right, send it off, Landon. What is that? There, at the window. Stand back, my prince. Ah! Damn it! Rescued by a woman! Again! But, my prince... <sighs> I knew you wouldn't let me down. Come on, Wu, we're getting rescued. Woo! And so, we wait.
What's taking them so long? I'm hungry. Where are you going? Home. I'm getting my katana. If we can't get her out, then I'm going in. Wait, Cloud. There's got to be a better way. In what way would that be? Well, um, okay. So, the virus sucks in physical objects and pumps them out into the game, right? Matter to energy conversion? What we end up with is a virtual version of the object in the game world. So for all intents and purposes, it's a one-to-one -one transformation. I don't know if knowing that makes much of a difference, but we might be able to do something with that and cause some chaos. Chaos? That's my specialty. Hmm, good. Excellent. So think, to turn the virus's game against itself, what could we send in that would cause it the most distress? Oh, this isn't getting us anywhere. We'll be talking in circles forever! I'm going in. I got it. We need a virus. Um, sweetie, we already have a virus. That's the problem. No, listen. A virtual virus in the real world creates a portal to the game world, right? Therefore, a real virus in the game world should produce a... That's totally crazy. That might just work. Um, well, it's worth a try. But first, we need a virus. That sounds pretty impossible, after all. It's not like we could just waltz into a lab for biohazardous materials. Why not? I've always wanted my own little Ebola farm. Let's look for a lab. I'll get a rope and a torch. Hold on. I think we could work with just a simple cold. Uh, but where do we get a cold in the summer? We need a host for the virus. Is that all? Giving a victim a cold is a simple task for someone with my abilities. A victim? Uh, Larissa, darling, maybe we should just get a volunteer? <laughs> Would it be that stupid? I am. Get me a cold, Larissa. Stat! Well, obviously. What? M more foam! So are you feeling sick yet? Like you need to sneeze and smear your snout on every surface. Or cough up your lungs. Need a hanky? N no. Well, we'll just have to cool you down just a bit more then. Don't worry, we'll get there. Uh, 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 oh! How do you feel? N colder. Landed. Do you have the? Whatever job a crawler puts her mind to is a job just about done. Great. Where is it? I said just about done. Hey. Mandan, dear, why so harsh with your poor lovely darling? Oh, I'm sorry. It's just that it's super rare. A 1960 first edition with a magic comic brush. Hey, no worries. I'm just gonna borrow it for a bit. Trust me, I'm an artist. Uh-uh, I know you. You're really not the best when it comes to borrowing stuff. But... Darling, I have borrowed your heart and now look at... Um... Uh, subject change. Power 
off. Power on. <laughs> Maybe it's broken. Power on. <laughs> Maybe it's broken. Power on. Power on. Power off. Uh! Oh good, there you are, Larissa. Quick, grab your emergency backpack and start filling it with canned goods. Make sure to bring some ketchup along. We'll need it to make the insects more palatable. We can practically live off the land that way. Then we'll need one, nope, nope, better make it two flare guns. But... Uh, don't worry, if you don't have an emergency backpack, you can have one of mine. All right, finally some action. But, uh, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? The world's coming to an end, Larissa. That's what's going on. Maybe some kind of a a zombie apocalypse. Or a, a nuclear missile launch. Or bees going extinct. Could be any one of those. Oh, wow. Awesome. But what the... What exactly brought this on? What? How could you not know? It's already been like a whole 30 seconds. It's the electricity, Larissa. The electricity. As in, we don't have any. It's the first sign of the coming of the end times. Yeah, that <laughs> might have been me. What? But, but then... Are you flipping nuts? Don't you know what this means? We can't connect to Sandra's server, and now she's stuck there, all alone, without an emergency backpack. Quick, get it back up again, right now. All right, all right. Power on. <gasps> Maybe it's broken. Hello? Hello? Yes? Now listen here, you can't talk to me like that. I just can't leave it like... I have rights. running and melted. Ugh, it... Mmm! <laughs> Dead. I've had enough. I want to talk...
let's try. Hmm. I bet if I. Hmm. No. Open up, you stupid door. Oh! Well, there you go. <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> I feel like I I can hear something hissing. My feet are wet. I think there's water on the floor. Or maybe it's blood? Blood! Knee deep in the dead. <laughs> You're a weird kid, kid. I can hear a dripping sound over there. Hello there, little girl. Care for a treat? Uh, no thanks. Mysterious voice in the dark. <laughs> a sledgehammer would be really handy right about now, though. <sighs> well, here you go. Wow, thanks! It's done! Let's get out of here! Hey! Open up! I swear, there are just way too many locked doors in this house! Leave now, and never come back! Oh, come on! Just let me in! No way! Do you know how much damage you did with that hammer? That's not the first nor last time I'd be asking that question. Smartass. Yes, I understand. Dead. Yes, yes, finally. You want my address? Okay. Power on. Power off. No, no, why? Five, four, three, two, one, fire! Got it! That might prick a... Doesn't work. Just one little scoop. Nobody will miss it. No way. That's disgusting. You're not actually putting your hands over your ears. Hello? 
Stop humming. Nope, curry ice cream. In it goes. That you. <gasps> Doesn't sound too bad. What? Landon, look at this. What is it? Ta da! Awesome, right? <gasps> is that? But that's a. a Brachis or a Covey Joculator? Right on! I mean, I totally would have guessed that too. Where did you find it? It's a secret. I'll give you two some alone time. Yes, uh, yes, uh, absolutely whatever you want, darling. The more experienced Arki should have this. What the? Where did the brush go? Larissa! Whoops! I mean, we got no time for that now! We need to rescue Sandra, remember? London's grandma seems to be having a bad dream. She looks restless. Yes, it's me again. I know. Landon's in for a surprise. Delish. Better and better! A real Karolev. Closer to reality than the actual reality itself.
Look here. The AC is dangling from the bedroom window. Unfortunately, I can't move the window up any further. Ah, hey! What are you doing? Oh, pipe down. You haven't got anything I haven't seen yet. Uh oh, wait, huh? Colder than the North Pole. Even your immune system can't fight against that. Ha! Nobody messes with the Krolev. You think you're tough? You think you're strong? Ha! I've shown you, you... Virus... Oh, right. Uh, Got it. G good. Let's g g go. Do you want the towel? I think I'll wait until you're outside. I got the virus. Incubation time of less than an hour. A new personal record. Well, whatever a job of girl puts her mind to. Uh, are you sure you got it? Durak! Of course I'm sure! And if not, I've still got a no- no- Achoo! Nose full of those little guys. Okay, let's try it then. Get the package in position. Uh, oh, before I forget. What's a Durak? A genius, my darling. Woo? Was that? A dragon? Was that? A Nasa? Uh, was that? Totally awesome? Are we out? Oh yeah, that too. Damn it! Yep. That was a dragon, Woo. And oh, poor Nessa. And it was also kind of awesome. 
That's what I said. But the portal. I could see Cloud, Larissa, and Landon on the other side. The portal was our way out and that dragon just ate it. Uh, we're definitely going to need some help here. I'm pretty sure wise old King Fred would know what to do. Oh, you're absolutely right, Wu. To the king!